Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to do the full review of the Resurrection Remix ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, I haven't been making a lot of ROM videos for this one, uh, but trust me, I will be uploading a lot. So, this is basically um, getting interesting about, you know, this 5.1.1 uh, 5 .1 based Resurrection Remix ROM. I've done this review on, on a lot of devices, Note 2, Galaxy S3. Uh, probably doing it on uh, the uh, I've done it already on the on the Nexus 5 also so this is a really nice ROM with a great reputation um, so I'm just going to show you that in the about section this is Android 5.1.1 um, and also if you tap on build number a couple of times you will be in uh, unlocking the developer options and this is the Resurrection Remix version for 5.4.5. Uh, this is the latest version for GDI9505, the LDE variant. You can see I do have the navigation bar. Now first, I'm going to start off from the lock screen. Uh, you can see that you can just swipe to unlock. Um, you can also uh, go into dialer or into camera, which I can just show you that it is working really fine. Normal Google camera app. Um, nothing too fancy about that. So all the basic stuff like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, it works really fine. I've checked it out. Um, so then also you can go into the dialer, which is of course the normal dialer, the normal sign engine mod uh, messaging app we have. At the normal browser, you can also um, just close everything once by clicking this cross key here. Um, so holding down the screen, you will see these three options, or you can also see these options under below. Uh, just change the scroll effect to, let's say, zoom out. So, of course, I don't have a lot of apps installed, so I can't really show you that animation. But, but yeah, this is really nice. The really nice options. Then go into settings. Then you can also go into widgets, or you can also have cool wallpapers which is also really nice you can see that this purple one looks really nice you can see that the um, the, the buttons also change colors which is also really nice and um, and let's see the settings where you will find configuration where you will see status bar and you can have ton of stuff here like you can change the color uh, on the top here and then also you can uh, change the battery style which is really nice icon um, and all stuff there carry a label uh, of course I don't have any sim card installed uh, definitely you can see emergency called only if, you, if I have the sim card it will show on the top or the left corner there um, battery bar customization battery bar location let's see top of nav bar battery bar style center okay you can see the battery bar here now on the nav bar um, that is really nice then also we have the network tra traffic of course again I don't have the sim card um, of course we do have a lot of other option in this tab clear all vibration intensity which is really nice because the default intensity is I'm feeling really high that oh unfortunately setting has stopped okay so we do have a little bugs which you can see uh, very few. It's not like it is happening all the time. It's really few bugs. Oh, so um, let's just go here into lock screen, the normal lock screen option. I will disable or turn it off. Display music visualizer because it just eat up the battery. You can have some quick shortcut. You can also have the the weather panel, and then also have some shortcuts again. Um, notification drawer. You can change that. You can see that norm. It's normal. Uh, normal lollipop notification center we have that arrow which is basically the 5.1 feature that you can uh, just connect to different Wi-Fi connections without going into main settings um, that is really nice so order tiles eight tiles you can add more which is really nice uh, a lot of options there custom color option change the colors uh, but always remember just choose the best option or best colors that are basically you know making sense you just don't make any awkward colors you will definitely not gonna able to see these these cool um, the options or icons whatever you wanna call it so 
and you can see that this is really nice combination this black and red um, combination there so uh, then we have the buttons you can have any custom um, custom actions you can also disable this navigation bar if you don't like it because of course we do have these three buttons on the Galaxy S4 um, that is pre from Samsung so that is the configuration then we have the theme chooser which is really love I mean I just I'm just in love with this theme chooser I mean this is the best feature of Cyanogen mod I mean just completely changes the whole look of the phone so looks really nice or better than before so uh, we have the performance where you can just change the performance from performance to power saver to balance um, really nice display normal Android option double tap to sleep works really fine double tap to wake of course you don't have that option uh, but yeah double tap to sleep works really fine sound and notification normal Android option nothing special the battery light you can change the battery li notification light here you can see on the top left corner you can set it to white to blue to red to green every color you want it will be changed it just works like magic I just love it some notification option there storage battery apps user normal Android options nothing special there so um, should you install this ROM I say definitely one of the best ROM, one of the best 5.1.1 ROM that you can have it on your Galaxy S4. It is feature rich but not that much. I hope the Carbon ROM should be released on Galaxy S4 also because I've done that video for the Nexus 5. If you are interested, you can take, uh, take a look at uh, the, that video on my channel. Uh, so you can see that everything is fine. You can see me. I can just edit my photo here and I can just save it. You can see no crashing or anything like that.